Hi there, this is uh, Anthony Geert and I'm going to talk to you about WordPress SEO today. Um, I've seen a lot of questions coming in about WordPress and uh, about how to optimize it properly for, for Google, Yahoo, Bing. So um, we're going to talk about a few basics uh, that are available for WordPress. So the first one I want to talk about is the permanent linking. Uh, permanent linking uh, is actually instead of having a, a WordPress log name, something like page is one two three four or one two three, uh, something like that is not really a readable link uh, for either us humans and also for the machines, so like uh, Google and uh, other other search engines. So. What we want to do is want to replace this with a link that we can understand. So, for example, how good does your site need to look? The five rules of online shopping. So, this segment really explains already on um, how how well does your site need to look, and it, it explains already what it is about. So, when we open it, you know, we can see the the title and then the information in there. Is talking about how good your site needs to look. So in order to achieve this, uh, we need to go to the dashboard, and then in the dashboard we go to settings, and then the settings. There is a permalink uh, setting uh, menu. So you can see the default is blog anthonygis.com, and then question mark p is, and then one two three. One two three would represent the the name of the of the the title. Of your, of your blog post. So a lot of people would use a uh, day and name or month and name which would give you a 2010 01 11 or 2010 01 and then the name of the the title. What I use is a custom structure and I'm only using post name. So the reasons f uh, that I'm only using the post name is uh, you should see as a your domain as, as a big tree and the domain name is like the, the main trunk of the tree and everything uh, after that is is a, a a branch which branches off. So the in order to give your uh, title an optimal uh, importance for the search engines, what you need to do is you want to have your title as close as possible. So for example, you want to have your um, title here instead of having to dig to dates and other numbers. You will have to put it rightly right directly after your um, domain name. So this really helps or already a lot and actually uh, a lot of people don't do it, I don't see why but um, trust me it will work a lot better. Um, another tool is the all-in-one SEO pack. So all-in-one SEO pack is uh, this one here. You can download it at wordpress.org and just search for all-in-one SEO pack or type it in Google. Uh, when you download it you can install it on your um, WordPress blog and then in the settings you should see a all-in-one SEO menu tab and when you scroll down the only few things that you need to enable is your plugin status needs to be enabled and then type in your home title, your home description, the keywords and just make sure that you have uh, conical URLs and rewrite titles also enabled just in case. So then update or save your settings and you're actually set to go. Now the trick is for, for good SEO on, on not only WordPress but also on, on any website is, is good uh, keyword information. So as you can see I, I made a, uh, a post which this video will be embedded in and you can see I categorized it and I also put in a lot of tags. Now these tags if you edit, are not just random text uh, randomly selected because they, they talk about the, the same subject. Uh, there's a bit more research going into these tags. So to explain you the research, I'll open Google Insight Search. If you haven't used it yet, I can definitely recommend it because it's a, a great tool of, of figuring out what is hot at, at the moment. And instead of, of writing something about what you want to explain you want to listen to what people are looking for you want to say okay I'm, I'm an expert in WordPress so I'm gonna write something random about WordPress but there's a good chance that a lot of people won't even care about that that's that stuff so just write find out what people really want to know about and, and write for them so I did a search term as SEO 
and as you can see first of all 2004 to 2009 it's just uh, keep on climbing because it is a very hot topic at the moment because everybody wants to get in the rankings with their blog or with their website and now if you scroll down you can see that the top searches are Google SEO because everybody wants to get into Google um, and then the rising searches are WordPress SEO so rising searches are actually something that is new it, it, it hasn't it, uh, come over a long time but it's actually pretty fresh so as you can see it started in 2006 slowly 2007 and then 2008 2009 it really started climbing and more and more uh, people want to know what to do and, and what what's the right way to do it so if you click on that when you're rising searches within uh, WordPress SEO and just uh, pick some rising uh, searches keywords like all in, all in SEO, uh, SEO in WordPress, SEO plugin, and, and just make a nice selection of, of words that are breaking out, that are rising up, and add them to the to your tag because they are relevant to the to the topic. Of course, you can do the the research and then do not include any of the information of the of the tags, but the search engines will figure it out and they say, well, listen, we see a lot of uh, keywords, but the information in the topics are not even related, so we're not going to be bothered and you will get a, a bad rep on, on, on search engines if you do that so try to avoid uh, mixing keywords with unrelevant information so then if you scroll down your uh, post so every, anytime you do a new post or you edit a post you will see now you have an all-in-one SEO pack uh, field so here you want to put in a, a, a title uh, what it is and a, a proper description for the search engines so this title WordPress SEO a video tutorial I could have typed in a video tutorial about WordPress SEO. The difference is uh, the search engines care about what is first in the title. So if you use a keyword that is first in the title it's uh, a lot better than just typing okay I'm gonna talk about WordPress SEO because that I am gonna talk about section is not relevant so uh, the search engines see it as well even though your information is a lot more valuable uh, it won't matter because your title isn't uh, emphasizing how important it is so and again the WordPress SEO WordPress teams and all the other little keywords are in there as well so I'm just adding another one because it was in the rising surges so Google SEO and you're done so that's basically it um, just a few more tips that I can give you um, make sure that your content is good uh, make sure you have good content and uh, don't put random keywords in, in content that doesn't match because uh, they will figure it out and it will give you bad rep and it, it's just useless because there are so many useless websites already on the internet so try to avoid it. Uh, another hint that I can give you in SEO uh, in regards to blogging use pingers. Um, so blog pingers are actually uh, little sites that uh, send an update to other blog search engines and blog directories in regards to your blog so whenever you have an update type in your blog name and uh, your URL and voila you're, you're done just check them all uh, send it out and you will see already an, an increase in traffic uh, based on that and um, well that's about it I hope I'm on 10 minutes because YouTube doesn't allow me more and if you have any questions just visit the website uh, you can contact me via here and then my main web page loads up and then just get in touch so info at antonygeerts.com or use the contact form and um, yeah so have a great day and any questions let me know thank you bye mm.